بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone uh, This is Mr. Nakyudin here and welcome to this online tutorial video on serial dilution calculations This is a part uh, of topic 4, microbial growth um, We are going to talk about this diagram first This is a part of your um, slides Okay. We've talked about this, where this is what actually happens in the lab. Okay, we have a stock solution. We have a stock sample th that we want to count. There's a lot of my bacteria in here, basically. And how do we count? Because uh, we can't because it's too concentrated here. So what scientists do in the lab, they dilute this, make it less concentrated. Okay, so they dilute it once, they dilute it twice, three times, four times, maybe once. Or twice may be sufficient, we don't know. But in the lab, scientists dilute. They dilute into these test tubes, and these test tubes would then uh, take in a sample from here, a one mil sample, into a petri dish. A petri dish is about this size, and all the micro bacteria would grow on it, and then we can count it. Okay? So this is what basically happens in the lab. Okay? But how does the dilution occurs is this part here, okay? This part here, where one mil is taken in uh, from the original sample into nine mil of a broth, okay? We give a total of a ten, we give a total of ten mil inside, okay? One plus nine equals ten, okay? That is one a tenfold dilution, one over ten, okay? And a tenfold dilution. Tenfold, tenfold, tenfold dilution could either be called one to ten dilution. Okay, right. One to ten just means one goes into a nine, and the total would be a ten. Right. That's a one to ten dilution, a tenfold dilution. It can it can either be uh, one to five. Okay, dilution or any other number but just to, to be clear if this is what it says it means 1 mil into a 4 mil okay which gives a total of 5 mil okay how it is diluted that is what it means all right okay doesn't necessarily be 1 into 4 it could be 0 0.5 mil into a into a two mil, okay, which gives a total of a two point five mil. But then this is a one to five. This is one ratio. This is a total of a five. Okay, one five, one five. Okay, right. So this is what happens. So you, important information here is how many is being put transferred along. How many dilution? Is it what this? Is it what tenfold? Is it one to five? And how many meals has been put onto the plate before it is counted? All right. Okay. Just to be clear. Okay. All this dilution one in a hundred, one in a thousand, one in ten thousand is referred to how many it is been diluted from this original sample. Okay. This is one over ten means it's been diluted 10 times from this original sample. 1 over 100 means 100 times, 100 times it has been diluted from the original sample. Okay? Okay? And it goes on, dilution. This is the series of dilution. That's why it's called a series dilution. Right. Why do you have to do this? Because we want to count. Nah, right? Because we want to count. Right? We have to find within the range of 30 to 300. Okay, if it's too many, too many colonies to count, it can be called TMTC. Too many to count. If it's less than 30, it is TFTC, which is too few to count. Okay, right. So this is too few to count, 17 and 2, right? 
159 is just nice. Okay. 159 is the 159 cells. Yeah. And how do we get the original one? We just times to the dilution factor, which is basically the uh, 10 to the minus 3 without the minus. Right. Meaning you can say this is diluted. It has been diluted thousand times. Thousand times it has been diluted. So if you want, yeah, if you calculate here, how many times in, in the original sample, you have to times back thousand times to have the concentrated um, concentration. Okay, this is your serial dilution calculations that were given to you in your tutorial. Okay. 36 colonies grew in a nutrient agar from 1 mil of sample withdrawn from solution diluted to 10 to the minus 5 in a standard plate count procedure. How many cells were there in the original sample? Okay, My advice to everyone for serial dilution calculations, you have to draw. Draw it like this or something similar. Okay, So you have a stock. A stock. Sorry, my drawing. The stock. You want to know how many cells. Okay. And then what you did was you dilute it. How many times? We don't know, but we dilute it to this concentration. 10 to the 5. This is according to this question here. 10 to the minus 5. And from there, we have plated, taken 1 mil. Okay. And plated on a Petri dish. And calculated the amount of microbes, bacteria, 36 colonies. 36 cells grew into colonies. Alright. So how will you calculate back the sample? This question is very straightforward. Okay. All you have to do is to understand. This is how many times has it dilute, diluted it, uh, from the stock sample? It has been diluted 10,000 times. Okay. Right, so this thirty six is thirty six cells per one mil that has been put in on here, one mil. Okay, so it's per mil. Okay, and that if you want to calculate back is thirty six times to the dilution factor, which is ten to the five, which can give you the answer of three million. Okay, so this was the answer. 3,600,000 3, cells per mil in the original sample. Okay. Okay, so that was the answer. This was the answer. It's not E, but this one. Right? The second one is similar, but it's a little bit different. It's the same way. If you want to draw it, okay, you have the stock. You want to know how much is in there. You dilute it, but according to the question, it's by diluted 10 to the minus 3. So it doesn't matter how many. 10 to the minus 3. That is important information here. Okay. And then when it's plated out, it's, we have 36 colonies or cells. But when we plate out, we didn't take, from the previous question, we took 1 mil. For this question, we took actually 0 0.1 mil. Okay? 0 0.1 mil. Okay? Draw everything. Okay? So, what is happening here, you have to understand 36 colonies. What does it refer to? 36 cells were obtained from 0 0.1 mil. In this test tube, if you take another 0 0.1, you will obtain 36. If you take another 0 0.1, you will obtain 36. So, 36 colonies. Right? Meaning to say, in a 0 0.1, you can get 36. But if it's per mil, you have to divide it, right? Well, this would become 360 cells per mil. Okay, let me write that again, maybe here. So inside here, 
this is actually 36 over 0.1 mil okay cells which is 360 cells per mil this is what this this test tube contains right okay so and then we know this test tube has been diluted a thousand times okay it has been diluted a thousand times okay 10 to the 3 is equals to thousand thousand times so if you want to know what is in the stock you just times back because it's been diluted this much so if you want to know the original you just times it back all right so how would you calculate you would do the same which is 360 times 1000 that is your answer which is 360 this is 360000 cells per mil in the original in the original stock solution okay all right so questions would always manipulate all these numbers this number this number okay this number okay don't be afraid just draw everything what you know okay right if you have any more problems with serial dilution questions you can come and see me thank you very much